What's up guys, it is Michael and today I want to take a trip down memory lane and let's go through my 10 favorite recipes that I've ever posted. I've been posting them for years, so this was tough to do. I figured this would be a great video for new people. I will link them all down below in the description if you think these look good. Just something new, something fun. So let's jump into the first recipe. So most of the time when you have tuna, it's when you're in a rush and it's not really the best thing just straight out of a can. So why not add a few simple ingredients, mix it up into a bowl and cook that on the stove for a few minutes on each side and you end up with a delicious tuna patty that you can have just by itself or on a burger and it makes tuna taste great. The next recipe is some chocolate peanut butter protein cheesecake. I really don't need to say much about cheesecake. One of my favorite desserts, and this one has a fraction of the calories when compared to the traditional cheesecake, but it still has that flavor and will help you keep your calories in check for the day. So bacon and eggs is like peanut butter and jelly. They just go together hand in hand. And what I did here was I made some breakfast muffins with the bacon wrapped on the outside, the egg in the middle topped off with cheese. So you can make these the night before, grab them out of your refrigerator and take your bacon and eggs on the go with you in the morning. And if you have some more time to cook in the morning and relax, why not make some protein waffles? You top these off with a little bit of fruit, some syrup and some whipped cream, and you've got a great breakfast. If waffles aren't your thing, don't worry. I've got some protein French toast right here for you. Chocolate, peanut butter kind. And if you want to be a true bro and have those protein oats for breakfast, feel free to do that. There are a ton of different recipes. I like the brownie protein oatmeal. Your complete breakfast in a bowl. No need for a protein shake because it's in the oatmeal. How bro is that? Now, if you are tired of eating the same bland and boring chicken, which if you cook it the same way, it gets old really quick, trust me. So why not try this low fat oven fried popcorn chicken? You dip this in your favorite barbecue sauce and you have a delicious high protein snack. And if you are looking to make a meal, try out the honey sriracha chicken. The sweetness of the honey, the spiciness of the sriracha sauce is a great combination and you will forget you're eating the same plain, bland and boring chicken that you're probably tired of eating. And if you're chilling, watching the game, or hanging out with some friends, you can always make some low fat buffalo wings. These are the boneless wings. You make these out of chicken breasts, but they look like wings. You cut them up into wings. That is the secret. And you have some low fat buffalo wings that taste great. And let's finish off this list with one of my most popular and favorite recipes that I've ever made. And that is the four ingredient protein bar. No, you don't need to go out and spend $2.50, $3 on a protein bar. You can make your own batch in a fraction of the price. So make some gains in your muscles and make some gains in your wallet. And look at young me right there. I've made some gains in the last few years and I want to thank you all for sticking around these last couple of years, watching the videos and supporting them. And if you like this video, like it down below. This was a really cool video for me to make to go through the last couple of years of work and pick 10. It was hard to do, but comment down below and let me know what your favorite recipe is of mine that you have ever made. Is there one that stands out? Is there one that I forgot on this list? Don't be shy, I know you can comment. Chime in down below. But I thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you next video.